Hello everyone, this is Amy from Wandering the World channel. This video, we are focusing on steakhouses. The best steakhouses in the San Francisco, San Jose Bay Area. Now there's quite a bit of them actually. There are a lot and we couldn't have possibly gone to all of them. But we did try a good six of the best steakhouses in the Bay Area. We will give you our honest review of Mastro's in San Jose. Grandview, also in San Jose, Fleming's, which has a lot of locations um, nationwide, Baek Jong, a Korean restaurant, LB Steakhouse, and the king of them all, Alexander Steakhouse. And we wanted to include the House of Prime Rib in this list, but honestly, we just couldn't get reservations. We tried over and over again, and you have to plan months and months in advance. We were able to try House of Prime Rib decades ago, but we didn't get any videos from then. So in this video, we're going to show you dry aged meat as well as the legendary tomahawk. So join us in this culinary adventure. The first steakhouse that we are reviewing is Mastro's, one of the newest in the South Bay. Mastro's in Santa Clara is a collection of sophisticated steakhouses recognized for their combination of world-class service and highly acclaimed cuisine. Atmosphere is both elegant and energetic, a great combination. There's also live entertainment at the bar seven nights a week. <laughs> While they have a great selection of world-class wine, we opted for their cocktails, which are dramatically presented in a haze of dry ice. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Wow, it's bubbling. For the first course, we had a lobster roll and lobster bisque. The lobster bisque had generous chunks of lobster. It was a welcome surprise. And for their legendary steak, we had the chef's cut ribeye, a 33 ouncer. I know I'm in a steakhouse and supposed to order red meat, but I opted for hamachi. Gerald couldn't possibly eat all 33 ounces, right? And for the greens, we had roasted Brussels sprouts. The steak came up perfectly done. It was tender, juicy, and flavorful. The steaks are cooked in a 1500-degree broiler, served sizzling hot with clarified butter on plates heated to 450 degrees. Yum! What do you think? Smooth and buttery meat. Very tender, medium, probably good here. It was a 33 ouncer. Look how huge that is. So overall, we give Mastro's an impressive 5 out of 5 stars. Overall, great vibe, great food, great staff, and awesome experience. Steak was tender, juicy, and very flavorful. Extra points for their cool cocktails. The next steakhouse is LB Steak, located in the vibrant Santana Row. Depending on the vibe you're looking for, you may want to dine inside instead of the outside terrace. We sat outdoors and happened to sit right on the outer edge so vehicles were literally right next to us. Also, since the restaurant is located near the main entrance to Santana Row, there is quite a bit of traffic and noise. LB Steak. LB Steak. <laughs> We ordered pork belly topped with an egg, the classic wedge salad with blue cheese and bacon, and the traditional mac and cheese. Gerald's steak was a bit overcooked. He asked for medium rare and it was more like medium well. 
The steak didn't taste like it was seasoned at all. Lacked salt and pepper. Very plain. I, however, enjoyed my buttery, soft, tender branzino fish. So what do we think of LB steak? We think it deserves three and a half stars. We ordered two steaks, which were supposed to be rare and medium rare, but to our disappointment, both came up more on the done side and ended up being dry. If this is a date night, our recommendation is not to sit outside. Traffic and pedestrian noise may become unbearable. Next up, we're going up the San Jose foothills to Grand View Restaurant. Located in the San Jose foothills, the drive requires skillful maneuvering up narrow, windy road, which is actually part of the journey. Grand View commands a spectacular view of Silicon Valley down below. From Friday to Sunday, they have a four-course or five-course tasting menu, and Monday to Thursday is a la carte. It's almost like sponge <laughs> Perfect, it's gonna be Chef Daniel. Oh, go, Chef. He loves being <laughs> <laughs> Now, while Chef Casado, I would like to explain your sides really quickly. We're gonna have your smash cucumber potatoes, three farm vegetables, and three sauces. The table side preparation of the tomahawk steak was so fun to watch. After cutting, the chef applied generous sauce and olive oil. Then he dusted it with finishing salt. Extra virgin olive oil to give it that peppery grassy flavor. Uh, we do offer two different types of salt. We have uh, truffle and Himalaya, which you, have, you prefer on top of the steak. Himalaya. Himalaya. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Which piece do you want? Let's cut a piece of this. Mm. That's good. That's good. On our second trip to Grand View, we ordered their 40 day age prime rib. Unfortunately, it was underwhelming. We ordered medium rare prime rib and it came out actually almost well done, very dry. It was truly disappointing, especially since we read such great reviews about the prime rib. We give Grand View four out of five stars. The pillowy soft bread presentation, table side steak cutting and commanding views were big pluses. However, we deduct a point for the dry prime rib. It came out well done instead of medium rare. Next up, we are going to try the legendary tomahawk steak from Fleming Steakhouse in Santa Clara. They have 70 locations in the United States and they've been around for about 25 years. So a tomahawk steak is basically a bone-in ribeye steak, a glorified bone-in ribeye steak that comes from a large rib resulting in a steak that is minimum two pounds in weight. And we discovered this can't beat tomahawk Tuesday special for Flemings. And for a reasonably set price of 150, on Tuesdays you get a, your choice of two salads, two sides, two desserts, and of course, their beloved prime tomahawk steak. That's pretty good. Very good. But I always like eating this.
we give Flemings a solid 4 stars. <laughs> Expect a very long wait time if you're ordering the tomahawk. Maybe around 45 minutes. I wish we knew this ahead of time actually. Service was rather slow. Dinner ended up taking over 2 hours. And that's for a weeknight. Next up is Baek Jong. Baek Jong is not your typical American steakhouse, but I included it in this vlog because they have the most amazing boneless short rib. Among other USDA prime beef are beef belly, ribeye, and br brisket. We ordered the large Hodong favorites combo, advertised as enough for 3 to 4 people. It included brisket, pork belly, pork steak, and boneless short ribs. The cook grills the food in front of you. The smoke ventilation system is so powerful and efficient that even though there were a lot of diners, the restaurant didn't smell smoky at all. On the outer edges of the grill, they slow cook corn and scrambled eggs. Okay, so out of five stars, I would give Big Jong a good four and a half stars. Yay! My favorite is the boneless short rib. My god, it's awesome. Really, really good. I also like their uh, pork belly. I love the ambiance, great music, just a fun place to be at. My favorite were the fried dumplings and the short ribs. I like the short rib, but a close second is the pork belly. I would actually rate it a 4.8. The meat and everything was really good. The service was excellent. This egg thing that you can't see was really, really good. So I would rate it a 4.8. Highly recommend. We give Baek Jong four and a half stars. It's the sparkly new restaurant that everyone wants to try. So you definitely need to make reservations way in advance. Our overall favorite is the boneless short rib. And we saved the best for last, the king of steaks, Alexander's Steakhouse. The restaurant has its own dry aging room, producing the finest quality of flavor in its 28-day dry aged steaks. There are several locations in the Bay Area, in San Francisco, Palo Alto, and Cupertino. They've garnered award-winning reputation for quality of food and excellent service. And that's exactly what we got, great food and excellent service. I ordered the lobster bisque and compared to Mastro's, Mastro's had bigger chunks of lobster. Still, the taste of the bisque was very, very good. We ended up ordering the sea bass for me and for the boys, the 30-day prime-age porterhouse and then the New York steak. Awesome. Both at medium rare, they came up perfectly done. Very juicy, very tender, well seasoned and very, very yummy. <coughs> the taste. Dry aged New York steak from Alexander's. Very good. Too full to order dessert? They still gave us bite sized cookies and their legendary cotton candy. And that evening, we got lime flavor. We give Alexander's an impressive five stars. And as they say, you get what you pay for high end prices for high end food and excellent service. It's a fantastic place for that celebratory dinner. Well, thank you guys for tuning in. Join us next time for more travel and culinary adventures.